friends you're just trying to use me up right you know that tune come on bear with me you've asked for less talking and more playing so there was lots of playing at the beginning and I'll talk very little yeah right I'm holding a Stratocaster it is Stratterday wherever you may be I don't care what day it is that you're watching this but in my mind, if I want to watch a video, I want to kick back on my sectional. It's one of those that goes all the way around the room. It's just, it's just plush liners all the way around the room. Line, recliners, recliner liners, one liners. All the way around the room. You're watching on Stratterday a video. I'm holding a very, actually very lightweight alder, interestingly enough. This one happens to be alder, but it doesn't weigh that much. Super duper flame and a neck. Flame and a neck. These are the El Diablo pickups. Who was El Diablo, you ask? He was a great, great, great blues player. Um, mainly for me, it's just about, this is kind of a modern-ish feeling guitar. But it's the maple neck that, that gets it for me. I'm playing through the Car Mercury V. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. But you heard it at the beginning. I'm going to run through the settings, and then we'll move to the next guitar. But these are the El Diablos. Clean. Diablos, <clears throat> the, uh, the alder, pretty lightweight, got to be honest, kind of like it. <sighs> My 
Let me ask you a question. What do you think of this color? I like it. It's red. Contour on that old, on that old heel. You heel. Now, these pickups are interesting because these are what they call their dual mag. What does dual mag mean? <clears throat> mag Ryan, who was in When Harry Met... <laughs> Inner Space as well was a great Mag Ryan movie. Um, so they do Alnico five magnets on the bottom, on the, on the, the low wound three strings, and then they do twos on the top, which are beveled. You can visually obviously distinguish between the two because bevel is, is beveled and the, the, the fives are not. Um, but it's a different magnet, so you're going to get less magnetic pull on those top strings, and they're not going to give you that really <laughs> thing, um, which can be, can be useful. Uh, from the previous instrument, obviously differences, uh, I've got rosewood, uh, I've got ash, and dual mags. Start clean, we'll do sort of the same thing. <laughs> the body is it the wood is it the rosewood or is it the ash versus the alder rosewood versus maple i don't know i don't know different pickups for sure i can hear on that that top especially on the squealiest of the squeals the wheeliest of the wheels on the the bridge i don't get on those top strings they're really like oh please go turn that off i'm almost there but not quite uh as i mentioned we're playing through the uh, most recent addition to our car collection uh, it is a Mercury V, but it's the head. I had not played one of these heads pre prior to this. I'd, I'd been made more familiar with the combo. Um, came with a drink. This is um, so everything that we expect in the car Mercury V, and you can see this on our website because I don't have a third camera to do the, the, the panel. Um, the, the, but this amp has everything on it. It's got low and high volume settings, which are really interesting to mess around with. Um, I think my two most exciting parts of this are the attenuator, which I've been, uh, up to this point, we've, we've not engaged the attenuator. It's been at the full, um, the, the, the full setting. But if I engage the attenuator, I can go, am I still plugged in? I can go from zero watts, which is none watts, um, a, as opposed to Charlie Watts, who is all watts. Zero. As I dial in the attenuator, let me play without drive on. Here's 
volt. Still my attenuated signal, which they're listing as four. Or 16. Four. 16. I haven't made any mention about the boost settings, but that's the lowest boost setting, so you can continue to just amp up from there. I am running, the, as usual, the Fender Santa Ana Overdrive pedal. Okay, let's go to the next guitar. Which is a strange combination of the two, because this is like a, uh, a 55 model, but we've put modern appointments on it. They've got uh, the, the more less uh, sticky into my handy, the friendlier on the, the palm of the hand, Technical terms here, folks. Stay with me. Also a contoured neck heel. Um, this is the satin urethane neck finish. Often we see with nitro uh, from the custom shop stuff, it's, a, it's a, either a, an NOS finish or it's really relic. This is the satin urethane finish, so it's slightly different. In, again, an ash, two-piece ash body, um, the much more gradual, subtle two-tone uh, I've got a dual mag that we discussed moments earlier. If you roll back in the video, you'll listen to me talking about dual mag pickups. I know this video seems like a rush song. It's like 28 minutes long. Um, dual mag in the bridge, but these are 60s pickups on a 50s guitar. Further uh, pointing out the fact that you can, whatever you want, the Fender Custom Shop can do. 60s pickups in a 50s guitar with a satin neck, staggered tuning heads, ash body, contoured neck hand-friendly six saddles, modern fender-ishness, single-ply pickguard. So there's elements of the 50s here, there's elements of the 60s. And if I pick up my cable, starting clean, attenuator off, um, withers. <laughs> Strat, you're going to get that hum. You know that 60 cycle hum. This particular guitar has a blender on it. Um, I can blend in different pickups, the, the middle to the origin and all that. You can read about that on the website and also on Fender Custom Shop's website. But it was sort of, I, I really wanted to describe to you today three much more modern overall strats. This obviously takes inspiration from a 50s, but it definitely has modern appointments on it. Um, Sorry that I talked so much in this video. I know that it just drives you guys nuts when I say things. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Car, Mercury V, head, attenuator, on and off, Fender Santa Ana overdrive. Gotta be honest, these Fender overdrives are pretty cool. I was skeptical. I really was. I don't think of Fender as a real, as a real pedal company, but... I, 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 we dig that one. We've gotten lots of good use out of it. You calling to tell me that you love fenders? I love that. Um, 55. This is the desert tan with the flame neck. And this is, uh, you make up a name for that red because I just think of it as re real red. Real red. Uh, with the dual mags. If you have pickup questions, we're big fans of the hand wound pickups from, from the custom shop. Um, the, 
they definitely have more character to them. If that's the one question we get asked often, what's the difference between a hand wound and non hand wound? To my ears, the hand wound pickups have just more character to them. There's a little bit of tood, there's a little bit of um, actual fender mojo from 60 years ago, like the, the old ones. They sound like they've got a little bit of, of that going for them. It's a really simple answer for a detailed question, but it's what it boils down to. You're going to dig the hand wound ones. We're a showcase dealer of the Fender Custom Shop stuff, so get in touch if you have questions. Um, you can chat with us so you don't have to listen to me talk if you don't want to, but chances are if you call, I'm going to be the one that answers the phone, so we can just continue where we left off, which was with my today's lick, um, which I really just love this lick, and I've never really played it well, so see ya. It was nice to see ya on a Strata Day, here from our Strata meeting at Strata Council headquarters in Nashville. Strategically placed overness. <laughs>